hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Oz here in the Adirondacks. We have some really high winds and they're supposed to get worse later. So um, the sun is shining, but yet I went out to go fetch our across the street neighbor's barrel um, for rubbish and ours, which flew down the road. <laughs> and um, with him being his age and the struggles that he has. Anyway, I got thinking about, you know, the normal preparedness that most of us normal folks have to deal with, with um, weather, not some of the end of the world stuff, but just normal weather. Do you have a generator? And if so, if it needs gas, do you have gas cans to fill that for several days? Or do you have a solar powered generator, which I don't know, I was looking this morning and they're around $1,500 up. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you know you most likely will lose power, you can turn your freezers and your refrigerators up to the coldest setting. Yeah, maybe your refrigerator stuff will freeze. Um, usually takes about 24 hours though for that to get to temperature. Every time you turn your freezer or fridge down, it takes about almost 24 hours to get to that temperature you changed it to. Um, but it's better than losing things. The other thing is, is that lights, batteries, um, things to do, you know, whether you are alone or a couple or have children, do you have games, playing cards, things to keep you busy? Keeping your home picked up of things like dog bones laying on the floor in case you lose power at night when you're all sitting and you need to go rush to go do something. Um, do you have a dog bone on the floor like we do normally that will break your toes? <laughs> so keeping things picked up. Also keeping things in every room where if you're in any room when something happens like a power outage, do you have in that room at least something for light to get you from one room to the other safely? Um, yeah, you can all, we all know our own homes. We can travel in the dark, but with little kids or animals, you don't want to trip and fall during a power outage because you don't know what else is going on. So, um, being prepared with those kind of things, having lights, lighters, candles, um, matches, ways to cook, um, your gas in your vehicles, make sure that that's always topped off. Um, if you're not using your gas that's being stored, make sure you cycle that through your vehicles, fill your vehicles with that gas and then go take the gas cans and then go fill, you know, that back up. It's always exciting when weather hits, you know, and knowing that you may or may not have power within minutes to hours or days. Sometimes certain storms last days. They don't just last hours or minutes. Um, we have a lot of tall trees and we know, we know what we have to do, but that's gonna take some, some time because we're not all made of money, people. <laughs> so um, today I'm gonna top off the fish tanks to make sure that they're filled so I don't have to worry about it because if we lose power, we will be on the generator, but of course we wouldn't do that right away, we would wait. Um, that being said, we have battery backups for oxygen for our fish to keep water, you know, cycled with oxygen to keep them breathing. Um, yes, fish breathe oxygen in your water. <laughs> um, fish can actually drown, just so you know. Um, I know that's odd, but they can. Uh, getting things tidied up, especially when you know that you could possibly lose power is important, of course. Um, lighting, um, just one place in this room, we have... Uh, this lantern at night, it would go up on that hook in the middle of the ceiling. Um, 
you know, if we need to draw the blinds, we can draw the blinds. Um, we also have uh, this lamp here and many candles, tea lights. Um, it is still getting chilly at night. So we have a wood stove, but if some of y'all don't have a wood stove here in this basket, I keep some candles that are close by these lanterns. These lanterns will throw off some heat. These lanterns are metal and glass. Keep them clean, okay? Um, mine's dusty on the outside because we do have a wood stove. We have animals and, well, we have dust. Um, what I mean by clean is when you're using them on a regular basis, they will get sooty, like inside the glass. So keep that clean. Um, also the top end of that. Um, these are nice. When you pick these up, make sure you lock them. There's a little lock right there. So that way if it tips over, but this is metal, so that way you can put tea lights in here. One tea light will last you two to four hours. I don't know why it says two to four. It depends. <laughs> so have enough on hand. You can get packages of the metal cupped tea lights. Do not go through party light or home interiors um, to get your cute little plasticky cups. Make sure that they are metal. That way, if left unintended, no candle should be left unintended, but in case it is left un unintended, you have a metal cup that this is just going to go out in, okay? So, metal enclosures with metal cups for your tea lights. Um, I would not leave a cute little smelly good candle in a hurricane, you know, lantern. I just, I just wouldn't do that. Not unless I was going to be like in that room or close by. <coughs> um, make sure things like your big things are unplugged during a possible power outage happening. Make sure they're on, at least on a surge protector but also you can turn those off and unplug everything. That way, if you do lose power, when you lose power, certain electronics can jolt and cause them to, well, crap out for lack of better terms. Make sure you have containers of water. Um, make sure that you're able to have enough water to flush your toilet per person in your home and also water to drink ways to filter water. Um, your coffee pot. I've mentioned on this on this channel before, um, but your coffee pot can make coffee in a power outage. <laughs> it can. I have to clean ours out. I actually ordered a coffee, new coffee maker coming tomorrow. Um, mine's filled. It has to be cleaned out, but you put your coffee in here. You boil water however it is that you decide you're going to boil water and you take your boiled water and very, very slowly pour it into here. Make sure you have a coffee maker that has a craft or that you have an extra craft that that can go into so you can keep it hot. Because if you have a burner plate, which we do not, um, that's not going to keep that hot unless you have a craft. The other thing is, where is it? See, I don't even know where my stuff is. Um, I have this little thingamajiggy, we're just going to call it, here it is, <laughs> this for coffee. This goes on your cup, you take a filter, you stick it in it, okay, you take however much coffee you're going to need, you take your boiling water put it into the coffee in here and pour it slowly into the cup. Do not pour more than you need at a time because your cup is gonna get overflown and then you're gonna have a mess on top of a power outage. So, that being said, I have a counter to clean up. I have dirt in my sink <laughs> because I've been planting again. I took the cucumbers and um, transplanted them last night because they got big really, 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 really quick. I didn't expect that. 
So um, I will do an update on things, um, you know, that have been growing later. And uh, I just kind of wanted to get on here and make sure y'all have enough batteries and all the things that you need for a power outage. I can try to list some in the description below. Um, I only mentioned a few things. Um, but yeah, it's that time of year. Tornadoes, hurricanes, cyclones, thunderstorms, winds. Um, and then there's the other stuff, <laughs> which we, we don't know, but not really worried about that stuff, just being prepared the best we can, just in case. All right. Also, with your food preps, make sure you have meals in these times that are going to be ready that you can do easily during power outage times. All right. Y'all have a great day. God bless. It's Lake Ferry signing out.